So there is already at least one prediction of Bitcoin soaring to 50,000 this year. At least one, and there are people that think it could go much higher than that. Now, Bitcoin is entering the new year in full bull mode, briefly exceeding that 34,000 milestone as the recent eye-popping rally continues. Now, as we look at the Bloomberg, you can see Bitcoin now, the white line on the right, showing the rise since 2018, has literally blown away the prior rallies from 2015 to 2017. And the latest jump comes on the heels of Bitcoin's huge jump in December, where it surpassed the $20,000 milestone and registered a jump of about 50% in that month alone, what many were calling a Santa rally. Now, that's leading Anthony Trenchev, who is the co-founder of Nexo in London. It's a company that builds itself as the biggest Bitcoin lender. He's the one predicting that Bitcoin could well be on the road to 50000 this year, probably, and this is his prediction, in the first quarter of 2021. And Bitcoin has increasingly been embraced by many institutional investors. It's clearly on the radar of many banks. And what many have really realized in late December of 2020 is that Bitcoin has moved out of the arena of speculators and tech geeks, and it's starting to get real attraction and real tension. Late last month, as you may know, the first NFL football player here in the U.S. had written into his contract mm -hmm. that he would collect half of his pay in Bitcoin. Kathleen? Well, Sue, and of course, it was Scott Miner, who here on Bloomberg Television famously said that Bitcoin could go over $400,000, and I think it's wanting a lot of us would never look at Bitcoin or looking at it now. What are the other issues for digital currencies in 2021 that we need to be aware of before we think about diving in? Yeah, volatility is certainly a very big issue. I mean, if you look at where Bitcoin has come to where it is now, there have certainly been a lot of glitches along the way. Uh, the Santa Claus rally is one that we've talked a lot about, but if you can recall, it tripped in November 26. We saw Bitcoin slump as much as 14 percent. It's had major declines before then, and so volatility, in fact, is a major issue. Yes, Scott Minard did say, and he's with Guggen Pine Investments that he thinks he could see Bitcoin at 400,000. Again, it just shows you there's an increasing embracing of Bitcoin by many institutional investors. Um, however, it remains a thinly traded asset, and so many are concerned uh, at whether it can continue the very bullish run we've seen in the past few months. And that is clearly going to be a big question for 2021.